Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Makeup Mandy. So, uh, I'm looking a little ugly and plain right now. Let's fix that up. I like to put concealer right around my little breakouts where I'm ugly to give it extra protection. Shape tape for life. Then it's time to bake it, bake, 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 bake it, bake, bake. And then just let it sit there for ever. Okay, well while that's baking, let's do some eyebrows. With Anastasia. Should be proud of the way I said that. Instead of like Anastasia. Anastasia. <laughs> so tell me why I was trying to do like the, you know, natural on a stitch, just like mm, flick little hairs in there and it'll make it super natural, but then it just gets boxier and boxier and more harsh. And then I'm like, you know, I still love it. I'm still cool with it. So, you know, do your eyebrows however you want, sis. All right, let's brush some of this bake off now, you know. Kind of blend it in a little bit. Just, 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 just slap it. Just slap it on your face. <sighs> a little bit of blush, blush. Blush, yes. A bit of bronzer, you know, just to. Made me look a little less spotty or more spotty. I don't really know. I just do things until it feels right. Does anybody else do that? Just kind of just keep doing stuff till it feels right. I'm going to use Too Faced since I'm going for a unicorn hieroglyphic -y type of look. Feeling shiny, I love it. Now time to get in on these eyes. So I'm really just doing like a pink cut crease, crease cut, same thing, cut it up. Cut it, cut it, cut it. I'm just gonna jump in with some Brazil. And I'm probably just gonna go like light to not so light to like, you know, darker. And then I'm gonna use Methron face paint, and then I'm gonna use this little pink right here before it flies away and cut my crease. I like to cut my crease with paint because it goes on better than powder ever probably will. So, yeah, and then you can put powder over it and set it like I do my eyebrows. I'm gonna go over my paint pink with this pink right here. Cause I want it to pop. See my little baby line? I'm gonna try to leave it as thin as I can too. Just so, you know, I don't want to be super glittery, but I want it to shine bright in the light. And I 
usually tend to put the darkness on the end and I blend it up but because I brought the darkness on the inside I kind of like how it kind of like just fades right there so I probably will leave that alone sometimes less is more time to do some eyeliner so I've been doing my eyeliner you know I do it like regular around my eye and then I draw the line right there where my wrinkles stop because my eyeliner is getting trapped in in my eyelid or in in my wrinkles pretty much so I have to draw the line wing down but I still like the up of the wings so I kind of like draw my line and then I build it down so I see there's a whole bunch of different ways to do eyeliner for hooded eyes but I just like the way I like the way it swoops up there's no wrong way so don't let anybody tell you that you're doing your eyeliner wrong I just unless I put black in the corner there to kind of hide all my wrinkles I have to go underneath the wrinkles so that's how I do it time to put on some mascara So pretty simple, nothing super crazy. All right guys, well that's how I do my neon pink cut crease look. So pretty simple, nothing too crazy. This is kind of like a beginner, you know, cut crease thing that's going on. Um, I normally would put on eyelashes, but I'm actually getting ready to change up, change and make a whole new video because, you know, one topic at a time. So I'm actually gonna figure out what's best moxie lash or tori bell literally i have both kits and we're gonna try them out actually with this look right here but uh stick around for the next video it's coming up see you later guys please like and subscribe and i'll see you later thanks